Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm the Untidy Artist. I'm making my version of Lush Cosmetics Buffy Bar. This is an exfoliating body butter you actually use in the shower. Right before you get out of the shower, you massage this onto your skin. It has lots of gentle exfoliants in it. And then you lightly rinse it, pat dry when you get out, and it leaves your skin unbelievably soft and moisturized. I worked for Lush for almost four years. This was one of my favorite products when I worked there. I still love to buy them for myself. They are a little spendy, so I thought it would be fun to come up with a recipe and make my own. I tried out a lot of recipes before I figured this one out. It is my favorite, and I'm really excited to show you guys how to make these. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is some cocoa butter. I normally use unscented cocoa butter. I was out of it, so I ordered this from Amazon, and oh my goodness, it smells amazing. It has the most beautiful chocolate scent. If you're not a big fan of chocolate, you will want to use the unscented. And I thought it was funny they put this on the bag, and yes, spoiler alert, I did look under the bag. Here's um, how they come. So they're already chopped up, which is really nice. They're in big pieces. It's perfect for melting. We'll also be using shea butter. Shea butter is definitely a softer butter, I love how moisturizing it is for the skin and you can see here how easily it melts. So those are the two butters we'll be using, cocoa butter and shea butter. For our exfoliants, the first one we'll be using is adzuki beans. They're also called aduki beans. These are red mung beans. I also found these on Amazon. My grocery store didn't have them. And what we'll be doing is grinding these up into a powder. It makes a lovely exfoliant. We'll also be using almonds. You wanna make sure you get raw almonds that have the skins on them. You don't want blanched almonds. The skins on the almonds actually add another element to the exfoliation. If you want a shortcut, you can get natural almond flour. You want to make sure that you get the kind that's made out of whole almonds so you get that exfoliating effect. We'll be using some rice. You can use jasmine rice, basmati rice. I've used both in this recipe and I didn't see a difference at all. So either will work. And then this is totally optional. This is a duplicate scent from Lush. It is their American cream, which is this strawberry and cream scent. It's gorgeous. I love this scent. I think it complements the chocolate really, really well. Once again, it's going to smell so good just from the chocolate you don't need this, but I thought it was a fun addition. You could also use caramel and honey. This is another Lush duplicate. It is a duplicate of Honey, I Washed the Kids. So it's like a caramel, honey, lovely scent combined with the chocolate. I have a half cup measuring cup from my kitchen. I'll also be using my kitchen scale. I love this scale. I use it in making bath bombs and shower steamers. I have a big glass measuring cup to make it easier to pour these into the molds. And then we'll be using a double boiler or my version of a double boiler. So I have my little portable hot plate burner. You could obviously do this on your stovetop and a pan that I'm going to put a little bit of water in and then a big glass bowl. You'll need a coffee grinder. Uh, this is the one from my kitchen. It's not super fancy, but it works. This is to grind up our rice and our almonds and our beans. You'll need a spatula and a big whisk. And then of course our molds. So these are molds I got on Amazon. They're silicone. They work really well for these bars because the bars pop right out. I would recommend something with a smooth top. I tried doing this with a, like a flour mold and the body butter is kind of bumpy and doesn't feel as nice on your skin, so you want something with a smooth top. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is grind up our ingredients. So I've measured a half cup of my adzuki beans. I'm going to put them all into my little coffee grinder and I'm going to grind them for a while. I like to pause and kind of shake the mixture around so it evenly gets chopped up and then I stop and I check it. This was still a little bit grittier than I wanted it to be. And so I'm going to grind it a little bit more. If you want this to be a more exfoliating bar, obviously don't grind it quite as much. And if you want it to be a lot more gentle, you can grind it more. And so I'm going to do that with the rice and the almonds as well. A tip for the almonds is I would chop them up roughly before you put them in your coffee grinder. It just makes it easier. Go ahead and set those aside. And then I grab my scale. I set my cup on it. I tear it, which clears out the weight. And I'm going to put in a 1%. So I'm using 
0.32 ounces in this. Once again, it's totally optional to add this. Then I'm gonna grab my scale again, put the bowl on it, tear it out so it zeroes out that scale, and I'm going to measure in my cocoa butter. So we're using even parts of cocoa butter and shea butter. The recipe will be listed below as well as links to everything I use in this tutorial. I, like I said before, I love that this is already in chunks. It makes it so fast and easy. And this is actually the third bag of this I've ordered. Then I'm going to tear out my scale again and grab my shea butter. And I'm just adding it into the bowl with the cocoa butter. I love using the scale because it helps you get a really exact measurement. Then I'm going to grab my little burner. Once again, you'd be doing this on your stovetop. I'm putting the pan over it. It has just about an inch of water in it, maybe an inch and a half. You don't want the water touching the bowl. I turned it on. I have it on medium heat. You want it to just kind of simmer a little bit. And I'm putting those butters right on top of the pan. Now you want to make sure you're stirring. Um, you don't want shea butter can, um, when it gets too hot, can get kind of grainy. So you want to watch this and make sure that you're pausing to stir it. This was after about five minutes and you can see those butters just starting to beautifully melt. Make sure the water isn't boiling underneath it. You just want a gentle heat to melt these butters and it will take a little bit of time. Um, here you can see I've just got a few big chunks of that cocoa butter. This is when I really start to watch it. When I have a few of those chunks left, I pull it off the heat and I'm going to continue stirring it until those pieces melt. They will melt and you don't need to leave it on the heat for the entire time. You can pull it off towards the end and keep stirring it until everything melts. Now we're going to transfer it to that other bowl. The reason I do this is it helps it cool faster and also it's nice to have a pouring spout. So this way your mixture will cool off a lot faster. I am not a patient girl, so that's why I do this. And then pouring it will just be much easier. So after it's cooled for about 10 minutes, I'm going to go back and add my fragrance oil. You don't want to add the fragrance oil when it's really hot. Let it cool off for quite a while. And I'm adding that in, scooping all of that beautiful fragrance oil out. This is from Nurture Soap, one of my favorite companies to order from. I love their fragrance oils. I'm going to give that a good stir so it's nice and combined. And then we're gonna wait again. So as soon as it's almost room temperature, I, I think I waited about 30 minutes. I've got my ground rice, my ground adzuki beans, and my ground almonds, and I'm going to dump all of that in and start to stir it to incorporate everything. And this is where I switch out and grab my whisk. So I go back and forth between my whisk and my spatula. We want all of those ingredients nicely combined. So I grab my spatula or my whisk and I give it a good stir. Now I'm going to transfer it to my fridge. This is when you want to start keeping a close eye on it. We want it to start setting up. Um, you'll notice it starts to harden around the edges of the cup. You can see on the sides there that that oil is starting to uh, set up. So if I set a timer and like every two minutes I get it out and stir it again. And what we want it to look like is like a thick, almost brownie batter. So this is ready. You can see how it's setting up on the edges. You can see how thick that is. Um, if it get, goes too far, you can always heat it up in your microwave for a second or put it back on the double boiler. And all you have left to do is add it to your mold. So I've got some parchment paper here. I apologize for my arm totally being in the way so you can't see me pouring these. If you don't fill them completely all the way up. You can fill this uh, both molds. So this will give you 12, um, almost four ounce bars. I'll put the exact measurement of these below. It's between three and four ounces. And you'll notice I'm stirring in between each time I pour it. And like I said, if I had filled these a little bit less, I would have been able to fill up that last mold when I've made these before, I'm able to fill all of them up. I just got a little bit excited and made these really full. And the last thing you have to do is wait for them to cool. It actually only takes a few hours for them to harden. 
this um, was actually the next morning. You can see these are nice and set up and they just pop right out of that silicone mold. If you use a hard plastic mold, these are a lot harder to get out. I feel like the size is perfect. It's smooth on the top. It feels lovely on the skin and you can see these beautiful Buffy bars. Because we let it cool before we poured it into the mold, you can see that the exfoliating elements in this are incorporated through the entire bar. And to use it when your skin's nice and warm in the shower right before you get out, you're just going to take that bar and gently massage it onto your skin. It's going to moisturize and exfoliate. Um, if you ever get those little bumps on the backs of your arms, this is great for that. My son has eczema and this works lovely on his skin. I actually tried these out for my entire family. I think I've made four batches of these now and they're a big hit. Both of my teenage boys absolutely love them and I am planning on making these for Mother's Day for my mom and my sister and my mother-in-law. And that's it, guys. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if there are other skincare tutorials you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next time.